what is Viktor Orban trying to achieve here? It almost sounds like a rallying cry. What was his goal, Alexander, with this, uh, with this kind of speech and rhetoric? I think he sent a clear message to Brussels that we are coming and we want to take it over. We want to take over the institutions. And uh, it was also a clear warning towards the EPP, European People's Party. He said that uh, Manfred Weber was misled when he was voting for the Article 7 resolution against Hungary. And he said that uh, the EPP should look not to the liberals, but to the right, to Savini and Kaczynski in the future. So I think that this was a clear warning for the central powers of EPP that I'm the, the main player now in the game. I will come to Brussels, we will have a good result and you have to follow me, not kick me out from mm. the EPP, but you have to follow me in this uh, anti-immigration road. All right, oh, a warning from Viktor Orban. Christina, I'll go to you. You're from the Sweden Democrats. Uh, do you think Viktor Orban is onto something when, when he's calling for an anti-immigration majority in the EU? Yeah, maybe, but uh, b because we can see now a lot of uh, countries, member states had e enough because we have this mass immigration and we cannot handle the situ situation. And now with the the Dublin reform and uh, that uh, they want to force member states to take a quota of migrants, that people raised, their, they don't want that. So I think a lot of political parties is going to grow and be bigger and have maybe majority in the parliament. Linnea, you were shaking your head. Uh, what, is, what do you think about what's happening? What a dreadful man, what a dreadful speech. This is just populist but mishmash. Isn't, isn't he I mean, right, though? No, I mean, this is just populist mishmash. Uh, Fear-mongering, I would say. If we are serious with tackling climate change, we will see that this is a problem that we will have to solve. And the sol well, solution is never to close any borders. We ha these are people. But these are children, women and men, just like us. And they belong to our societies as well. I mean, and he is not offering any solutions at all. I mean, this is not an, an issue that we can just shut out. I mean, or to solve with closing borders and then putting up some camps outside of Europe. No, that's not possible. We have to, you know, have a strategy, have a plan, and we have to have it now. I mean, that's interesting, because is it, is it fear-mongering when you have parties getting voted into parliament? Absolutely, and uh, you can see in, uh, inside of Hungary that it, it works, actually. He has a two-third ma majority and his only message is migration, migration, migration and Soros. This is what you hear in the Hungarian media and you can see that it, it works uh, perfectly. But actually the picture in Europe is a bit more difficult than mm. uh, black and white anti-immigration yeah. or for migration. We have lots of different issues. Where but definitely we... migration uh, topping that list, because just as Viktor Orban has called for unity among Europe's anti-immigration parties, well, the EU and Malta have struck a deal to relocate 49 migrants stranded at sea, along with more than 200 others who were in limbo. The migrants were allowed to disembark uh, two German rescue boats yesterday. Negotiations had stretched on for weeks, highlighting a lack of solidarity. And in the end, just nine countries agreed to accept them. Uh, Germany and France will take the majority, Portugal, Ireland, Romania, Luxembourg, the Netherlands and Italy will take between 5 and 20 each. Here's the EU's Migration Commissioner. The European Union is about human values and solidarity. And if human values and solidarity are not upheld, then it is not Europe. At the Commission, we spared during the last days no efforts to coordinate relocation pledges among member states and make the disembarkation possible. All right. It took weeks to get to this agreement, to get a few countries, to get uh, a handful of people. Some will get five. I mean, mm -hmm. is this what it has come to in Europe? Yeah, apparently, but it's shameful and we can do better and we have to do better and we can do more. I mean, I think the European Commission here is showing leadership. What is this union about if it's not about values? And these are what mass immigration It's women and children and men just like us. And they need a place to stay. And we are rich countries. We can handle it. There is no crisis going on. Mm. 49 people is no crisis. I mean, you were talking. Yeah, but. 
I just want to point out to you that the, the numbers of immigration, of people coming into Europe in general, it is actually much lower than when the crisis started. So why this uh, reaction? Yes, because I think we have seen now a clear message from Italy and Malta that they don't want, they don't have the cas uh, possibility to take more migrants. And I think this could be a good thing. That can be that people are not going out on this boat with them um, smugglers. And from my side, I want to have a reception center in the North Africa, really helping these refugees and uh, really clear out who are the refugees or who are the economic migrants. No more death on the sea. Christine, like in have, Australia. Have, have you been to the northern of Africa? Have yeah, been there? I've been there. Have you st been standing in Niger when it's 50 degrees Celsius in the daytime? Have you done that? Yeah, I have yeah. been. So you know that it's, it might be quite difficult for people to live in these countries. And then they move and then they migrate. And yeah. they will have to do that due to climate change. And we will have to help them. Yeah, but if yeah. we are going to help all these refugees and migrants, yes. what's happening? Then that's people. That's children, yeah, I know women that. and men. I just know that. like you and me. I think and, we, and of course we can help them. Yeah. We're people, right? Yeah. We are built on values and we can, we can do much, much more. Yeah, but uh, instead of helping one person in Sweden, we can have help uh, 10 person in Africa. In 50, 60 degrees Celsius. Yeah, but have what you should been we do? There should without we move, water? move the whole Africa's people to Europe then? We have to help them, of course. We have to okay, look, do something more. These are two sides of, 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 of an argument, but we, the, the reality is how the EU is dealing with it right now is here. You have a few hundred people coming and it takes weeks to discuss. Is the system broken then? I mean, it has to, I mean, I, I, actually, I agree with Christina here. I, I don't think it's sustainable that Italy or Greece or Malta should take all this. But you don't agree of, with that solution? No, I mean, we want a solidaric system where, you know, all countries in the, in the union take the responsibility. And my country, um, Sweden, has taken a, a lot of responsibility when we see that people have to flee or migrate. So, much. Mm. so of course, I mean, we also, I mean, I work with fisheries and I see really how we have to stop overfishing in order to help people uh, sustain themselves on a local level in Africa, for example. Mm. So, I mean, we need green policies as well, of course. But 